red zone of the country. Troops of Operation Hadar in Daji have continued to record serious successes against armed bandits. Within the period under review, troops of Operation Sahel Sanity, acting on actionable intelligence, arrested one illegal arms supplier named Usman Ibrahim from Riyam in Barakin Lagd, local government area of Plateau State. The suspect was arrested with 890 rounds of 7.62 special ammunition, carefully concealed in his vehicle. Other items recovered from him include one jackknife, one pistol grip, a Nigerian police ID card, and the sum of 2,230,000 naira. Preliminary investigation revealed that the suspect is a major illegal arms dealer supplying bandits in the Northwest. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I will need to stress something here. You will see where he's coming from and where he's going to. So it's good for you to take an analysis of that and keep it in view. When we are talking about arms dealers, suppliers, it may not even be localized in that area alone where the criminals commit their heinous crimes. It is maybe from one state to the other. And there are people that, you know, of course, you know, when you look at what happens, where they do local fabrication and all, it gives you a pointer into what I want you to use your brain to think and then be able to come up analytically. That's why this type of information is coming to you. From Riyam in Plateau State, he's taking arms to people in the Northwest. So it's something that we need public uh, support greatly in information, and it, it's not out of provision of information. That is what I'm saying indirectly here. They provided information, so we need to spread that to the general public. He was tracked all the way from Plateau State right to where he was eventually uh, arrested. For that 2020, troops conducting stop and search operation in Gusau, Zamfara State, based on reliable intelligence, arrested one male and one female suspect, namely Kabiru Dauda and Hafsat Musa, with nine parcels containing substances suspected to be cannabis and other illicit hard drugs. <coughs> Preliminary investigation revealed that suspects are suppliers of hard drugs to bandits. Similarly, Troops acting on credible intelligence arrested a wanted suspected bandit named Usman Gorjo at Umwad al Haji Dumbuzu and a suspected bandit informant named Isabala at Daudawa village. Suspects were arrested in connection with the killing of the head of Daudawa vigilante group recently. Now, the second point in the Northwest that I want us to note seriously is that the, peop the duo that carried nine parcels of drugs is very very serious so and we need to take the message out also that these people are not normal they are not at all and we need all the information again this one also was as a result of good information credible provided before they were grabbed relatedly in the zone the air component of operation Hadar in Daji on 13 September 2020 decimated another unbandaged camp in the Domboro forest area of Zamfara State. The airstrike was conducted as part of a new subsidiary operation tagged Wutan Daji 2. The, suspect, the successful operation resulted in the killing of several armed bandits belonging to the gang led by the so-called Dangote. Equally, on the 15th of September 2020, several armed bandits along with their logistics facilities were destroyed in massive airstrikes conducted in the Kwayambana forest area of Zamfara State. In another development, troops of Operation Salama, an internal security outfit in Jigawa State, raided the residence of a suspected armed bandit in Kabaka village in Wiwa local government area of Jigawa State. During the raid, troops arrested his wife and four others, while two AK-47 rifles, five magazines, and 149 rounds of ammunition were recovered. Again, it is instructive to point out here that Jigawa City, you can see the information we got, and this one was nipped, I would say, in the board. That is what happened as it were, where they don't provide information and there begins to be a build-up around a particular person. You can see this one now. It was nipped, and it's a very, very good success story for the armed forces of Nigeria and other security agencies, with also a commendation and a lot of thanks to the people that provided the information in that area in Jigawa State. These successes recorded within the period. It is clear that troops of the armed forces of Nigeria, working with other security agencies, are committed in their endeavor to end banditry and other sundry crimes in the country.
The military high command commends the gallant troops for the successes achieved so far and their commitment to duty. While the good people of the Northwest are once again assured of armed forces of Nigeria's commitment to the safety of lives and property within the zone, they are also encouraged to continue to avail the troops with timely and credible information that will assist in the operations. The Northeast. In the Northeast zone, the armed forces of Nigeria, working with other security agencies, have continued to sustain the onslaught against the insurgents. Within the period under review, troops recorded appreciable successes and several terrorists were neutralized, while some, including their family members, were arrested with catch of arms and ammunition. Troops of Operation Lafia Dole on 10th of September 2020, in conjunction with the Civilian Joint Task Force on Fighting Patrol, engaged Boko Haram terrorist oblique ISWAP elements at Kasakura in Medugri town. In the course of the encounter, two terrorists were neutralized. In a related development on the same day, troops successfully repelled two different terrorist attacks at Ngala and Baga towns and recovered various categories of arms and ammunition, while two Boko Haram terrorist public ISWAP fighters were killed in contact. Meanwhile, at Nguru Soye village of Bama local government area and Dalori Giri in Medjugorje town of Borno state, troops conducted ambush operations, which led to the neutralization of three Boko Haram terrorist public ISWAP elements and recovery of large catch of arms and ammunition. In the same vein, on the 11th of September 2020, troops on patrols at various locations in Borno State encountered ambushes and attacks by BHG and ISWAP fighters. Superior firepower overwhelmed the terrorists and repelled them. The operations led to the neutralization of five terrorists as others fled with various degrees of gunshot wounds. In another development, troops in conjunction with local vigilantes on the 14th of September 2020, conducted cordon and search operations at Gashua local government area of Yobi State. The operation led to the neutralization of four BHG and ISWAP fighters, while seven of them were arrested. This is in addition to three others arrested on the 13th of September 2020 at the College of Agriculture in Gujba local government area of Yobi State. It is also worthy to mention that the wife and son of one of the Boko Haram terrorist high-profile member, Abdulrahman Ablahi, had been earlier arrested by troops in Madagali local government area of Adamawa State on the 7th of September 2020. Gleaning from the records of these operations, there is no gain saying that the armed forces of Nigeria and other security operatives are resolute in their determination to end the insurgency and achieve sustainable peace in the northeast zone of the country. In the north central zone, the armed forces of Nigeria have continued to sustain the tempo in the fight against criminality through the conduct of aggressive clearance patrols, ambushes and raids among others, which have yielded remarkable results. During the period under review, these ongoing kinetic efforts were supported by civil military cooperation activities in the form of stakeholders meetings among the various ethnic groups in the zone. Within the period, troops of Operation Wellstroke and Safe Heaven conducted several clearance operations to identify bandit camps. Notably, troops of Sector 1 of Operation Wellstroke in the early hours of 14th of September 2020 raided an armed bandit camp at the forest boundary between Benue and Nasarawa states. The operation was conducted following credible intelligence on the presence of armed bandits harboring in the general area. Troops engaged the criminals with superior firepower, forcing several bandits to flee with various degrees of gunshot wounds. Similarly, following actionable intelligence on the possible hideout of remnants of late Ghana's militia elements around Adu general area in Chachanji, Kansu ward of Takum local government area of Taraba State. Troops of Operation Westro conducted a joint dawn raid operation on the identified hideout at Adu 
In the course of the operation, troops neutralized two armed militias and recovered two locally made pistols. Thereafter, troops carried out another raid operation on another identified arms bandit handout at Changshanji in Takum local government area of Taraba state and Sei in Katsinala local government area of Benue state, during which three suspects were arrested, while 16 handsets, some charms, and substances suspected to be Indian hemp were also recovered. The suspects are currently undergoing preliminary investigation, after which they will be handed over to the police for further action. In a related development, troops of Operation Safe Heaven between 13th and 15th September 2020 raided hideouts of suspected criminals within just North local government area of Plateau State. A total of 30 suspects were apprehended, while one locally fabricated pistol loaded with one round of 9mm ammunition was recovered during the course of the operation. Substances suspected to be cannabis sativa and other illicit drugs were also recovered by troops. On the 16th of September 2020, troops of Operation Safe Heaven in conjunction with operatives of the Department of State Services, Plateau State Command, conducted a raid on hideouts of suspected gun runners at Korwi and Kwande communities of Kwampan local government area of Plateau State. Troops apprehended a suspected gun runner, one Mr. Rayan Mohammed, also known as Tar, with two single barrel guns, one fabricated rifle, one fabricated pistol, and 12 cartridges. It is noteworthy to mention that the suspect is a close associate of the notorious gun runner Christopher Ngu, who was earlier arrested in Bakin Chiawa village on the 8th of September. Both suspects and items recovered have been handed over to the Department of State Services team for further action. On the 17th of September 2020, troops of Operation Safe Heaven conducted another raid operation on suspected drug peddlers and criminal hiders within Park in Ladi town of Plateau State. Troops apprehended a notorious drug peddler one lower hour with large amount of substances suspected to be cannabis sativa, among other illicit drugs. The suspect and SBs have been handed over to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency for further action. As part of civil military cooperation activities within the period under review, headquarters Operation Safe Heaven fostered several stakeholders' meetings with community leaders in various parts of Plateau and Kaduna states. Areas covered include Bokos, Basa, Jos. Barak in Ladi and, and Riyom local government areas of Plateau State, as well as Zangun Kataf and Jema local government areas of Kaduna State. These efforts are expected to achieve the desired result with the provision of credible and actionable intelligence, specifically from primary sources. In this regard, in this regard, the locals are requested to cooperate with the security agencies by availing them with the required information, which will be useful to our collective objective of taking out the criminals from the zone. A look at the South-South Zone. Troops of Operation Delta Safe have continued with the aggressive fight against crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism, and illegal oil bunkering with attendant successes. Within the period under review, the patrol team of forward operating base Bonnie, acting on credible intelligence on the 13th of September 2020, immobilized an illegal refinery containing tanks filled with about 307,300 liters of illegally refined automotive gas oil at Orutoru fishing camp in Boni local government area of River State. Early on the same day, Nigerian Navy ship Delta patrol team dismantled a reactivated illegal refinery containing tanks filled with about 595,000 liters of illegally refined automotive gas oil at Banga community in Delta State. Also within this period, Nigerian Navy ship Pathfinder patrol team located and immobilized an illegal refining site at Mudukiri Creek 
Degema local government area of River State. The site had a metal reservoir laden with an estimated 150,000 liters of illegally refined HU. In the same vein, forward operating base Bonipa Totin discovered and dismantled an illegal refining site in Ataba and on the local government area of River State. The team discovered eight metal storage tanks and four dugout pits laden with about 1,289.45 barrels of product suspected to be stolen crude oil. In the same vein, Nigeria Navy Ship Jubilee Clearance Operation Team acting on credible intelligence on a suspected pirates and sea robbers camp at Otoyo, Akwai Bomb State, raided the camp. The patrol team came under fire. However, the overwhelming firepower of our own personnel led to the forceful withdrawal of the pirates, leading to their dislodge in custody of the base and will be handed over to Nigerian Customs Service Component of Operation Street Response for further action. With 45 drums of products suspected to be premium motor spirit, the suspects and items are currently in custody and will be handed over to the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, UU Command, for further necessary action. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, gleaning from this, it is clear that troops of the Armed Forces of Nigeria and other security agencies remain committed to fight economic sabotage and other sundry crimes in the south-south zone of the country. We move to the southwest zone. In the southwest zone, troops of Operation Awasi have continued to intensify the fight against pipeline vandals, economic saboteurs, and other criminal elements. Notably, on the 11th of September 2020, Nigerian Navy ship Bicroft handed over MTC supply and her crew to Mimasa after proper documentation in line with the existing standing operating procedure. Recall that the vessel and her crew members were arrested on the 31st of July 2020 for sailing without the required and relevant documents. Furthermore, on the 12th of September 2020, the patrol team of Ford Operating Base Ibokoda immobilized three illegal refineries containing 30,000 liters of illegally refined automotive gas oil at Agbelem Semazayon 2, a border community between Ese Odo and Wari, Loka, Wari North local government areas of Ondo and Edo states respectively. Troops have continued to dominate the general area with clearance and aggressive patrols while maintaining surveillance to rid the area of pipeline vandals and other saboteurs. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the military high command commends all the gallant troops of the armed forces and personnel of other security agencies involved in various operations across the country for their commitment, determination, and dedication. They are equally encouraged to remain firm and decisive in curtailing the activities of all criminal elements in the country. Members of the general public in this regard are hereby assured that the armed forces of Nigeria, working with other security agencies, will continue to tackle the security challenges in the country and ensure that normalcy is attained in all the geopolitical zones. However, like I will always say, and it's good to continue to ram it home, their support is highly solicited in the area of providing credible information to assist our operations. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, once more, thank you for your attention. Yes. <laughs> I see one. How are you? Alan?